we are doing a book haul today from March. And we need some coffee to complement this because there are, are many books. So let's let's make some coffee first. some homemade whipped cream. So it's delicious. All right, the books I acquired in March. I just found so many. And then Book Outlet had a book sale. The thrift store, um, one of these books was given to me. Another one I bought like months ago, back before we moved, um, I pre-ordered it. So I literally, I had to send it to my friend's address here because I didn't, I couldn't send, give my address yet for where we were before we moved. So, and then obviously the thrift store and then some I just bought because I Am I a little bit ashamed? I am a little bit ashamed. Because now my physical TBR is, it's not Carmen's physical TBR. <laughs> Go watch uh, Carmen's video. I'll try to remember to see if I can link it in the description. It's amazing. Um, her video about her shelf inventory and um, let's just say her physical tbr is quite large and I, that, mm, i'm glad i'm not quite that bad but it's fine we all love options am i right my tripod is leaning oh well who cares all right let's just go ahead and start i don't think i'm going to take long and if you hear squeaking it's my chair is squeaking um this is one i got at the thrift store restart by gordon corman i had never before heard of it um but I want to find more um, middle grade. I think this is like youth middle grade. Um, and so it's $2 at the thrift store. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. I have not read it yet. Um, what is it even about? It says Chase doesn't remember falling off the roof. So it's about a little boy who apparently falls off the roof who loses his memory. So so it's called Restart, Lose Your Memory, Find Your Life. I have no idea if this is gonna be good. I'm gonna try to read the first sentence. I'm gonna take, Chantel does this in her book hauls, so I'm gonna see if I can remember to do this in all these books. Maybe not the nonfiction, but anyways. Chapter one, I remember falling. That is a, that's the first sentence. So that jumps, right in or falls right in i picked up another middle grade at the thrift store wolf hollow by lauren walk 
It is a New York Times bestseller. It has the Newberry honor. Um, it is historical middle grade. I really don't remember what it's about. So I'm not even gonna read what it's about. Most of these I don't remember what they're about. That's what happens when you just buy books. So, prologue. The year I turned 12, I learned how to lie. Okay, that's the prologue, chapter one. It began with the China piggy bank that my Aunt Lily had given me for my fifth Christmas. Okay, so I really like this cover. I think it's pretty cool. It has like words. The year I turned 12, I learned how to lie. The year I turned 12, I learned what I said and what I did mattered. My steady life began to spin, not only because of the war that had drawn the whole world into a screaming brawl, but also because of the dark, hearted girl who came to our hills and changed everything it would not do to turn 12 without earning my keep and by that i meant my place my small authority the possibility that i would amount to something okay so i think we're dealing with some if this says this exquisite debut confronts injustice and doesn't flinch so i think we're going to be dealing with some injustice and i really enjoy those stories so excited um another middle grade out of the Dust by Karen, is it Hesse? Hesse? I don't know. Um, but I feel like this is a really common um, book. Um, a terrible accident has transformed Billy Joe's life, scarring her inside and out. Um, to make matters worse, dust storms are devastating the family farm and all the farms nearby. So this is the, in Oklahoma, I'm assuming the Dust Bowl. Yes, the Dust Bowl, um, about a little girl. Oh, and it is, is it free verse? Is that what this is called? Or it's a novel in verse. Um, so like all of the pages are like that. Um, first sentence. As summer week came ripe, so did I, born at home on the kitchen floor interesting all right this next book excuse me i've already talked about it in my march wrap up but that is love and the silver lining by tammy O'Gray. i gave this 3.75 stars if you want more of my thoughts go check that video out that is the last video i posted and the first sentence i'm supposed to be on an airplane flying to central america to teach children to speak english yes um, the next book is Oh, and these are in no particular order. I should have said that at the beginning. Like, I'm not separating them by genre on purpose or order of... Yeah, there's no order. Um, this Momentary Marriage by John Piper. I'm currently reading another John Piper book <coughs> that I'll actually talk about in a little bit. And I think in this book, he mentions this book. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. I got it on Thrift Books and I'm excited to read this eventually. I'm not gonna read the first sentence of that one. The next book was one I had never heard of before. I was just at the thrift store browsing, saw it, picked it up, thought it looked interesting. And that is In Search of Eden by Linda Nichols. It sounds very interesting. Joseph North, so like the, there's a little bit about a woman um, in the synopsis. And then it says Joseph North, chief of police in Abingdon, Virginia has always tried to do what is right to perform his duty and protect those he loves. He is suspicious of the new woman in town and checking further discovers she is a person with seemingly no history. Then he finds a baby picture of his niece in her possession. So I thought that sounded interesting. Who knows? I've never heard of this author or book, I don't believe. So first sentence of the prologue. Eden's hands trembled as she opened the heavy box. What's in the box? Chapter one. Wanda stifled a yawn. We love a good, uh, interesting first sentence. All right, moving on. Um, this is, oh, that scared me. I'm so dumb. I picked this up and brought it up like this and I saw this tab and thought it was a bug. I'm keeping that in there, just transparency. Every Little Thing About You by Lori Wick. Uh, 
did I get this at the thrift store? Yes, I got this at one of the thrift stores and I've read this. I talked about it in my like two videos ago um, in my six star reads. I love this book. Um, not gonna go into it right now because I've talked about it before. But the prologue. The mid-afternoon sun beat down unmercifully as the cowboy, a Texas ranger, rode into town. <laughs> um, chapter one. Friday afternoons were normally quiet. So you can just assume that that Friday afternoon changed her life forever. Um, another one I found at the thrift store is Line of Duty by Terry Blackstock. It is the fifth book in the New Point 911 series um, and the last book I have to read. Um, or the next book I have to read in the series. I'm, I've read the first four. Very excited to be in the mood for this. I haven't necessarily been in the mood for this, but I can, I can, I think I will be soon. So, oh, I forgot about, and I don't know if I can really tell you what the book is about. I haven't read it yet. Chapter one, Ashley Moore sensed the doom in the Icon International building. Ooh, now I wanna read it. <laughs> I just love Terry Blackstock's writing. It's so good. And then one I am currently reading that I just, um, this is the one I pre-ordered months ago, is Safe All Along by Katie Davis Majors. I love Katie Davis Majors. Is, is that how you'd say it? I love her books. Um, I've read Kisses from Katie and Daring to Hope, and I love them both. So when I saw she was coming out with a new book, obviously I had to order it. And I think this cover is stunning and I've already got tabs. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it is trading our fears and anxieties for God's unshakable peace. And the story kind of, of or like where the title comes into play, um, you get to see that very soon in the book in the story she tells and I just really enjoying this and love it. And then I was given this book for a class that I take every Tuesday. Um, and we do book reports in this class. And this is the book I was given to read. So if I finish it and don't wanna keep it, I can give it back to um, my teacher in this class and he'll use it for the next class. Uh, but if I like it enough and I wanna keep it, I can keep it. So Desiring God by John Piper. Yeah, it's very interesting. It is Meditations of a Christian Hedonist. Look up what hedonist is. Um, and then this is talking about Christian hedonism. Very interesting. My brain is being worked very hard and I have to summarize my chapter every week that I read for this class. So it is very good for me to Think so deeply and this one will make you think deeply. The next one is a bind up all in one. The cure, cu do you say this curate or curate? Curate. I don't, I don't actually know. I should know that word, but I don't. Curate of Glaston. Um, this um, is like I said, a bind up of three books. The Curate's Awakening, The Lady's Confession, and The Baron's Apprenticeship. So, and it's by George MacDonald, and it's thick. And it is edited by Michael Phillips, and that's one of the big reasons I actually picked it up. So I am very excited to read this, and I hope that George MacDonald's writing is similar to Michael Phillips, because I love Michael Phillips. Chapter one, a swift gray November wind had taken every chimney of the house for an organ pipe and was roaring in them all at once. I have a little map in there, barely. There's a little map. So that's cool. The next book, I'm super excited and interested. This is a Michael Phillips book, Are We Even Surprised? Uh, the Legend of the Celtic Stone by, or Legend of the Celtic Stone by Michael Phillips. An epic saga of Scotland and her people. Um, I don't even really remember what this is about, so I'm just gonna read the first one. Every single one. It's amazing. So like I was saying, there's a really cool map. Prologue. 
This is Kirkham Ludington reporting live from outside Buckingham Palace. Chapter 1. A thatched, thatched stone cottage set between the slopes of two rugged mountains in the highlands of western Scotland could not have been a more fit could not have been a more fit symbol of that nation's colorful past. I am already excited to read this. Oh, and um, my favorite color is green and gold. And uh, the hardcover is green and gold and it's beautiful. And I'm going to probably annotate it and just, I hope I love it because it looks really interesting. I got another Michael Phillips book who's surprised and this one I have no idea but I saw it was Michael Phillips and it looked like something very different from the other Michael Phillips books I read and so I was going to just pick it up. Destiny Junction. Um, it's book one. Like any town behind its doors and storefronts and stained glass windows live and work men, women, and young people all of whom thirst for the same thing. Most though do not though most do not realize it. Personal stirrings are at work within hearts that no one can see. This is their story, a story about life and what it means or what it ought to mean. Perhaps it's your story. So I have no idea if this is going to be good or interesting, but we will see. Another thrift store find was Carolyn or Caroline Little House Revisited by Sarah Miller. I'm very excited about this. I'm in, I don't know much about this besides the fact that it's like the little house like the little house in the big woods it's that story told from caroline's point of view um the mother so i love the little house story um i loved it growing up and so i'm really excited to see if this is any good oh and there's also a map that's super cool i don't know if i noticed that before and this was i found that thrift store in such good condition i love when that happens Chapter one, Caroline's wrist turned and flicked as the steel tongue of her crochet hook dipped in and out, mirroring the movement of the fiddle's bow. Ah, I feel like this is gonna be a descriptive book and I'm very excited about it. Um, the next book is Dream of Freedom by Michael Phillips. Now I had this book previously, but I was at the thrift store and I found this one and my other edition had like the library binding on it and I couldn't take it off. So it had like the sticker here and it was laminated over it and which is fine, but it was in a series. And so it like just looked out of place with my other books. So I found this at the thrift store even better in, co in better condition than my other one. So I got it for $30, um, absolutely I would gladly do that for one of my favorite books or favorite series um and I gave my sister Morgan my other copy in case she wants to read it so oh first sentence on the shores of a dark continent a Portuguese merchantman sailing under the name Vidonia sat in the harbor of a natural bay along a little known coastline between the mouths of the two rivers of western Sudan so this that is like the first um Something really interesting about this book is it gives like a history kind of like it has a little bit to do with the story but I don't really know how to explain it so that was the first part of that but the first part of the actual story a woman with caramel skin both the rest of but the rest of whose features gave clear evidence of her African heritage stole quietly from the hovel she called home and tiptoed away from the slave quarters I love this book so much and the next books I'm so excited about these are books I've been wanting for a long time always keep my eye out um and I made a book outlet order when they were having like a little sale so I bought like six books off of that sale so first one yours is the night by Amanda Dykes I read whose waves these are by by Amanda Dykes a few months ago and I absolutely loved it and so Amanda Dykes is just an author I want to read more of and her I love this cover so much I love the colorfulness and it's matte and let me read the first sentence oh and it has a map it's so cool I love that I love the way I never use the maps like I never go back and reference them but I like the way they look 
um, prologue. Oh, <laughs> one thing I noticed today as I was looking through this, the prologue, it says October 24th, 1921, and October 24th is my birthday, so this book is off to a good start. There are days you live over and over again for as long as you live. And then chapter one, uh, rules, keep off the racetrack, you dolt. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. And then I got another Amanda Dykes book, Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes, and this is one of my favorite covers ever. It's just so stunning. Um, I'm not gonna read what it's about, but I will read the first sentence. This is the prologue, set in London, England, May 1987. The smell of cinders permanently etched the abandoned Beset? Beset? March match factory into the minds of all who passed. Okay. And then chapter one, this is Candlewick at Commons, London, England in 2000. To step inside the watchmaker's cottage was to step in outside of time. Ooh, interesting. That's an actually really interesting first sentence. I like that. And then I got An Uncommon Woman by Laura France. I've read two Laura France books, given them both five stars. And this one was on Book Outlet, so I snatched it up. I'm very excited to read this as well. Um, set in Buchanan, is that how you say it? B Buchanan River, West Virginia, spring 1770. Why could she not quit, quit pondering that flounced petticoat? Okay, interesting. Laura Francis' writing is such an interesting style of writing and I really enjoy it it just yeah so I'm super excited to read that next I'm so excited A Midnight Dance by Joanna Davidson Politano she's one of my favorite authors I've read two of her books gave them both five stars loved them both so much and so I bought more uh this is A Midnight Dance um it was about a ballerina in an old, well, is it, a, is it an old theater? I'm not sure if it's in an old theater, but it says, at their core, all theater romances are tragedies. That sounds right up my alley. Um, chapter one, Covent Garden, London, 1833. He was so very blue. And then I got another Joanna, Joanna Davis and Politano book, The Lost Melody. And I love this cover. It's like matte here and then like shiny. I don't know. It's just really cool. Um, I know a little bit more about this one because I've heard a bunch of booktubers talking about it and how stressed they were. And I'm kind of excited for it. So apparently it's about a woman who accidentally gets admitted into an asylum or she gets like she goes there to find someone and they keep her locked in there as a patient i don't know it sounds stressful but i'm very excited to read this i keep saying i'm excited because i am excited to read all of these but you know one day in late may of the year 1886 i found myself imprisoned in the hurstwell Hurst pauper lunatic asylum then chapter one ah so it's the prologue and then it says on chapter one it says three months earlier i was playing a piece by oh my goodness berlioz berlioz Ber that word that name i should know that i was playing a piece by that person the night my father died the second movement of Symph symphony fantastic <laughs> with arpeggios smooth as a horse's gallop. So this has to do with music, and I love music. I play piano and sing, so I think this is going to be super interesting and right up my alley. And it's Joanna Davidson Politano, and I love her writing. Can you go wrong? The last book I have to talk about is one I've also read, and that is I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetis. I read this in December or January, I think. 
and I enjoyed it and it was on Book Outlet in the same edition as the Fountains of Silence that I have and so I said let's just buy it. So I've talked about this book already so I'm not gonna really say what it's about but the first sentence. Oh look there's a picture Romanian students and then there's a map. So many maps in my books. Chapter one. Fear arrived at five o'clock. And that sums up the book. <laughs> no. Anyways, that was fun getting to just hold all of the books. That sounds so dumb, but there's something about holding my books. I wonder if they smell. Oh, it has the new book smell. I am very excited to read these books, the ones that I haven't read. So stay tuned to hear what I think about these books. Um, I'm very excited about my April reading month. As you watched my last video, you saw or heard me talk about um, my sister choosing my April reads and I'm choosing her April reads and then we'll do a wrap up together at the end of the month. So very excited. Um, month is off to a great start and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. There's the massive stack. Can you even... Ah, it's just beautiful. It is beautiful.